Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Scott Dennis. Well, it may be cold outside, but not too cold to enjoy some outdoor fun at Music on Main in Lakewood Ranch. That's right. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan, who is out there right now. He joins us live from Main Street with a look at that event. Bob? That's right. It can't be too cold. You know, I'm, I've got some ice cream. I just about finished my entire ice cream cone that they're giving away right now at Delights. There wasn't much of a line, but uh, it's not bad out here. Uh, Robin right now and the retros are just now starting to rock and roll. All right. I like that little sunny and chair, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, what's that now? Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. OK, yeah, those boots are made for walking. Anyway, watches and warnings right now showing up. Uh, we have uh, some freeze warning to the north of us, and that will be staying to the north. So we're not anticipating any kind of freeze here or frost for that matter as a result of the dew point being so low. Now, get a look at this sunset. I understand a gorgeous sunset taking place right now at Tower Cam. Uh, we are looking at some high clouds around, always creating a nice look that you see right there looking out over Sarasota Bay. An end to a very cold day. We started out with some very chilly temperatures this morning uh, and only warmed into the mid 50s. I mentioned that hard freeze to the north of us. That hard freeze is in effect until Saturday morning. And then uh, for us, uh, we are looking at generally upper 40s to low 50s right now. Again, you can see the band plays some great music there. The boots are made for walking. I should have known that. But anyway, 40s up into the panhandle right now. And we are anticipating a little bit warmer weekend ahead. We'll have the details on the weekend weather coming up in just a few minutes. Come on out, help out the Cardinal Mooney lacrosse team. Get yourself an ice cream cone as well. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. This week's massive winter storm still impacting thousands of travelers across the country and here on the Sun Coast. Five flights were canceled today at Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. The flights were to and from northeast cities like New York and Boston. Multiple women are speaking out, claiming they were sexually abused by actor and director Ben Vereen at his Suncoast rental home in 2015. They say it happened while Vereen was directing a production of Hair at the Venice Theater. ABC 7's Erica Jackson talked to theater officials and one of his accusers who shares her story. Which is really cool to get to hang out with my director, and that's really all that I considered it as. It was a professional relationship turned personal between Caitlin Terpstra and Tony Award winning actor Ben Vereen in 2015. He told Terpstra he chose her and the other actors because they had raw talent. The Northport and Sarasota native grew up performing at the Venice Community Theater, but she remembers her relationship with her new show director getting out of hand quickly. He said, you feel that because his direction was pressing against me. And I didn't really want to acknowledge it because it was like so upsetting. Terpstra says she recalls Vereen making her and fellow actors strip naked during rehearsal. And he followed suit, which she calls unnecessary. He invited her and other women to his home for private rehearsals. And during those sessions, she says one of her idols acted unprofessionally. He said, I want you to kiss me. And I said, I, I do not want to kiss you. And then he reached around the back of my head and pressed my face towards it and kissed me. Terpstra recalls the theater's director, Murray Chase, breaking up a heated argument between her and Vereen. And she says that's when she first came forward about the sexual abuse. I told everything that I could think of to Murray, and I was crying really hard. And Murray said, do you think you'll be able to perform? And that was the only response. We spoke to Chase on Friday, who says the theater recently learned of the allegations against Vereen from Terpstra and other women. She is disappointed the theater did not take action sooner. And Sheree Heasley with Spark says many women aren't adamant about coming forward if their comments are dismissed and fear they won't be taken seriously. Definitely there is a fear of repercussions, um, regardless of the, whether they're your supervisor or a fellow employee, you just don't know the fallout. Sarasota's West Coast Black Theater troupe was hoping to work with Vereen in an upcoming production, but the executive director tells us they have strict policies and no longer plan to work with him for the safety of their performers. He has continued to go around to other community theaters and do master classes and work with young people. And if I, I don't think he should be allowed to do that ever again. 
Vereen has since released a statement on his Facebook page apologizing for his actions and says he will come to terms with his past conduct. Reporting in Venice, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Erica, thank you. A recently announced plan to ease oil drilling restrictions along Florida's Gulf Coast receiving negative feedback locally. Thursday, the U.S. Department of the Interior announced plans to allow oil drilling exploration along 90 percent of the outer continental shelf, which will include part of Florida's Gulf Coast that have been off limits now for nearly 30 years. Those behind the plan say it will boost our nation's economy and energy independence. But several people on the Sun Coast say the risk is not worth the reward. We did dodge a bullet. Uh, we need to avoid any chance of doing another. I'm, I'm certainly not uh, for it, and I think most Floridians would agree. In a recent statement, Suncoast Congressman Vern Buchanan called the plan, quote, rash and reckless. An apartment building fire that left 17 people out on the street last night is now being investigated by Bradenton fire officials. The fire started at Sun Chase Apartments off of 59th Street West around 6.30 last night. The fire heavily damaged four of the eight apartments in the building. The other four suffered smoke damage. The Red Cross was on scene to help find shelter for those who had nowhere to stay. No one was injured, but fire officials say four pets died in that fire. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office continuing to combat the opioid crisis on the Sun Coast. Deputies arresting three people Thursday following a string of undercover drug buys and a search warrant. Cody Frost and his two roommates, Theodore Phillips and Michelle Corbin, all arrested. The investigation began last year when deputies say Frost sold fentanyl to undercover detectives four different times. On Thursday, detectives recovered prescription opioids, marijuana, and other drug paraphernalia. The investigation is ongoing and more charges are pending. Well, there's a growing trend happening now where some senior citizens are downsizing into something much smaller. They're called granny cottages and they are built on the property of their homes. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live in Clearwater tonight with more on the story. Rick? Yeah, good evening, Scott. Good evening, Jacqueline. This is really a neat thing that's going on nowadays, and I'm uh, joined here by Sheila DeSanto, or <laughs> Sheila DeSanto, I should say, and uh, Sheila is actually one of the cottage owners with the uh, cottage right back there, and Sheila, uh, first off, just talk a little bit about your cottage. It's about 400 square feet. Right. And, uh, it, it, tell me a little bit about it. I love it. It's more than adequate. I never feel claustrophobic. And I just have the things I need, and everything's convenient. Now, I was actually in there, and it's amazing how spacious these yeah, granny cottages it is. are. It is. It's very surprising. And why did you decide to go this direction? Now, your granny cottage is uh, on the property where you used to live. Uh, no. It, uh, it, it, the, the granny cottage is actually uh, at your uh, son's house, but right. in the backyard of your son's house. Right. Okay, and why did you decide to go that direction with things? Well, we were originally thinking of an in-law suite added to the house. And from there it evolved to this option, and we were in with it. Yeah. <laughs> and how much have you been enjoying it? How, how much has uh, your family been enjoying it? I think everyone has enjoyed it. We enjoyed the whole process. It, it's been fun. <laughs> and uh, the builder is uh, Henry Mosley, and uh, it's... Uh, organization called Home Care Suites and uh, it seems like they've done a tremendous job here. They really did. Henry was so easy to work with. He, he was running around putting out fires all the time. And, and uh, you do have your private space here. Your son and his family has his private space. So that must be a beautiful thing. It really is. It works out very, very well. I think we're all happy with it. All right, that's Sheila DeSanto. And Sheila, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I'll let you go back into your warm uh, cottage back there. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and uh, that's uh, the Granny Cottages, something uh, kind of new. This is the first I'm hearing about it, and it's exciting stuff, uh, fun stuff. And we'll have a lot more on this coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. In the meantime, reporting live from Clearwater this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Guys, back to you. Okay, right, thank Rick. you so much, Rick. Those look quite quaint. Small. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Still to come in your Suncoast News, Florida farmers facing a major dilemma with the cold weather, how they could lose thousands of dollars trying to protect their crops. Plus, a new candidate has entered the race for Florida governor, why he already has the president's approval.
Monday at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Hello, I'm Stephanie Webb. The cold temperatures might be over here in our area, but that's just in time for some rain heading our way. We'll tell you what to expect on your commute throughout the week, how long the rain is expected to last, and much more. That is Monday on Good Morning Sun Coast. John? Indeed we will. A series of fronts will be moving through that'll cause that rain. We'll talk about it bright and early. Monday at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Our overall experience working with California Closets was phenomenal. Calm, reassuring. Through happenstance, we ended up paired with our designer, Jen. She was someone who not only was patient, someone who was professional. She's become extended family. She had great insight to help direct me towards those things that could make our <laughs> dreams come true. We are the Greens, and this is our California Closet story. Once you get atrial fibrillation, you need to have a very close relationship with your primary doctor. Prevention is the whole ball game here because once you have a stroke, you can't undo it. A year without stroke is a year that you can enjoy doing the things that you've worked all your life to finally get to do. You took care of yourself. You did what is necessary for you to be around one more year. And then next year, we'll celebrate one more year without a stroke. It's been about a month and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. We are problem solvers striving for answers. Relevancy on every platform. We are driven to create content that's compelling, engaging, where it matters. We are neighbors that care about solutions, believers in making a difference. Leaders, innovating in an exciting era of multimedia, reaching to always be the gold standard in our evolving landscape. We are Raycom Media. Find your opportunity today. Thanks to all of you who participated in ABC 7's Paris Vacation Giveaway Contest. Join us as we congratulate our grand prize winner, Heather Caston of Bradenton. She and her husband, Clint, are going on an amazing six-night dream vacation for two to Paris, the most romantic city in the world. Thank you, ABC 7, for going to Paris. Congratulations, Heather and Clint. We hope you have the trip of your lives. ABC 7, we're here for you. Legend has it that the Swedish strawberries are, <laughs> excuse me, are grown in northeast Florida, but the question is, how long and how badly will this cold snap affect growers? Strawberry farmers in Bradford County say the cold temperatures can damage the bloom or the fruit and ruin the crop. Now, one farmer is staying up all night sprinkling his crop in warm water that will form an igloo effect over the berry, but he says that's an expensive and risky balance between not enough water and too much water. You get several days of, or nights of having to do that, and then that water starts to become the enemy because it, particularly if you have a lot of ripe fruit. It's a frosty dilemma for growers whether to water or cover their crops. Crawford says he will lose around $5,000 from this weather. It isn't just crops being affected by the cold, wildlife feeling the chill too. Look at this, hundreds of sea turtles stunned by the recent cold have been rescued along the Texas coast. This is on Padre Island National Seashore. The National Park Service says the turtles were found cold, stunned, and floating to the surface. So today on the Texas coast, about 500 green sea turtles have been found cold, stunned, thanks to the hard work of many groups going out and looking for these turtles and bringing them in uh, so that they can be documented, uh, identified, and then sent off to rehabilitation for care. Warm them up. Scientists hope they'll be able to save these turtles so they can be released back into Texas waters when they warm up.
A new candidate has entered the race for Florida governor, and it's President Trump's tweeted choice. Republican Ron DeSantis announced today that he will be running for governor in 2019. His decision coming just a month after Trump tweeted that DeSantis is, quote, a brilliant young leader who would make a great governor. 39-year-old DeSantis is a Navy veteran and graduate of both Yale and Harvard and has represented a Northeast Florida district since 2013. In Washington, federal authorities are investigating the Clinton Foundation. Officials say the FBI and federal prosecutors are investigating whether foundation donors were improperly promised favors or access to Hillary Clinton while she was Secretary of State. In addition, the investigation is looking into whether any of the foundation's tax-exempt funds were misused. It's unclear what has sparked the new investigation. A previous inquiry stalled prior to last year's presidential election. A Clinton Foundation spokesperson says the investigation is politically motivated and unfounded. Well, stay with us. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be live from Music on Main and Lakewood Ranch with your first alert weather forecast when we come back. Sarasota Institute of Lifetime Learning begins its 47th season on Monday, January 8th in Sarasota, Venice, and Lakewood Ranch. Meet Warren Jones, pianist to the world's best-known stars on Monday, January 15th, and Chris Hill, career diplomat and four-time ambassador on Tuesday, January 16th. 72 Global Issues lectures by renowned experts, 24 musical conversations with great performers, subscriptions available now, single event tickets at the door. For more information and to purchase season tickets, visit sillsarasota.org. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Are you a food lover, restaurant goer, or home cook? Then check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7 Zone Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, and helpful step-by-step -step videos. And you'll love the restaurant guide with direct links to your favorite Suncoast eateries. Whether you're cooking in or dining out, whet your appetite with tasty tips from Chef Judy at MySuncoast.com slash dining. I'll be right back. Selfless service is the guiding principle of every Army National Guard soldier. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. To be an Army National Guard soldier is to serve something greater than yourself. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Well, the chilly weather tonight isn't stopping some Sun Coast residents from starting their weekend at Music on Main. Let's check in with Bob Harrigan, who joins us live from Lakewood Ranch with a look at our first alert forecast. Bob? Hey, yeah, we got Rockin' Robin and the Retro's playing some great music right now. Old school, 60s, 70s, and 80s. A lot of people out there dancing. We've got the Oriole behind us, and we got these lovely people right here. We got Bella, and we have Patty. And this is an interesting story. Uh, you guys came in from where today? Buffalo, New York. And is this cold or what? It, it is chilly here, but nothing like Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Bella, what do you think? You go uh, to Braden River, right, at elementary? Yeah. And you were up in Buffalo. How cold was it up there? I don't know how cold it was, but it was really cold. Yeah, it's really cold. It's good to be back home here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even though it's a little chilly here, not too bad. Now, a big story about Buffalo. Scott Dennis uh, grew up there. He was born there, our yeah. anchor. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, Patty, 
you got a big thing happening coming up this weekend. We do. Go Buffalo. We're rooting for them. First time in 17 years the Bills are going to the playoffs. You know, I, I got to tell you, I was at the Super Bowl when Buffalo played the Giants. Oh. Unfortunately, you know, that kick was off oh, a little bit. but yeah, a little wide right. <laughs> yeah, I know. a little I wide right. Happen. Scott Norwood, I remember that <laughs> quite well, though. It was, it was a great time. Uh, we wish Buffalo well. They're playing Jacksonville. Yes. And I showed that graphic where they might have very cold temperatures. That might help Buffalo. Yeah, it actually might. Yeah, yeah. we're hoping. Yeah, go Bills. Go Bills. All right, good to see you, Patty. Thank you. Thank you, so Thank you for coming out. Bella, good seeing you. Say hello to your dad. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wanted to say that. Anyway, the weather is looking good here. Uh, just a little chilly. A lot of people dancing right now. Having a good time. They're staying warm, right? And I'll tell you what, the Van Ways webcam showing a beautiful, gorgeous sunset tonight, by the way. And that's a result of some high cirrus clouds that have moved on. And look at that. Uh, spectacular. Uh, as far as the warnings go, well, there's nothing going on for us. There's a hard freeze warning to our north. High pressure continues to dominate our weather right now. You can see the dark blue. That's the hard freeze. And then below that, the light blue indicating moderate freezing temperatures there for just a few hours. Uh, currently, we have clear skies, 50. It's been kind of hanging right there at 50. And look at that dew point, 26. That dew point is so low, we don't expect any kind of widespread frost at this point. North winds at 5 now, and the pressure is way up, 30, 33. High today was 58 only. Tomorrow we'll be in the 60s after several days of highs only in the 50s. We'll finally get to 60, and then by Sunday, I think there's a good chance we'll see 70 for the first time this week. And as far as the month goes, the rainfall at just over a half inch. Temperatures currently in the 50s here for the most part, 40s over the panhandle, 58 now in Key West, and temperatures all pretty much uniform in the low 50s. The Gulf water temperature we have to keep an eye on. Uh, it's uh, pretty cold and snook do not do very well and don't target them if you're going to be fishing over the weekend. Try to stay away from them as far as catching them. Any kind of stress could kill them uh, as a result of this extreme cold that we experienced here. Tomorrow's hourly forecast. There it is, a high near 60 finally. Uh, future cast indicating some high clouds moving in overhead and that will help us keep warm. So don't worry about your plants tonight. No need to cover them. Uh, no need to bring them in. We're not going to see freezing temperatures here. And as I mentioned, the frost will not be an issue either. As far as the future cast goes, you'll notice that we'll look for sunshine, plenty of it uh, throughout the day on Saturday, Sunday, some showers maybe on the East Coast, and uh, we'll look for partly cloudy skies here. The next chance for rain comes here by Monday at 30%, but more so it'll happen on Tuesday and Tuesday night as a system comes in to disrupt things. Cold, well, look at that. Six in Cleveland, Toronto zero, one in Minneapolis, and Washington now at 17. And as far as that forecast goes, we are anticipating, again, that colder air to eventually move on out. Look at that, minus 22 in Chicago right now. I should say Toronto. Chicago at minus 8 at this point. Well, for boaters, it's a small craft exercise caution. We are looking for the possibility of uh, some winds and seas up there a little bit. Uh, we are anticipating mild conditions, though, uh, throughout the rest of the weekend as we push on through time. Again, uh, not a problem with that. Uh, we will see, uh, basically, uh, partly cloudy skies throughout the next seven days with a chance for showers coming on into Tuesday, Tuesday night and Wednesday. Temperatures will stay in the mid-70s throughout the week next week, so things are looking much better on that front. Uh, things looking good. We'll be right back after this. First out the door when it matters most. For more than a decade, he's been right there everywhere. And when American jobs are on the line, he leads the charge. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast, and we thank you. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Serving part-time as a soldier in the Army National Guard can give you a head start on your career. Gain practical experience with technology and equipment to get an edge in the civilian world. Learn about the paid training and career opportunities available to you at NationalGuard.com. My California Closets designer is a rock star. 
she was able to design the most beautiful space for me. When I turn the lights on, it's breathtaking. La! It's just a little slice of organized heaven. The California Closet Team was so professional, so reliable. It was seriously a dream come true. My name is Jill, and this is my California Closet Story. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat, and I'm doing a downward dog, and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. How could you not love him? Services.com. A cheetah recently gave birth to eight cubs at the St. Louis Zoo, and she broke a record in the process. The three males and five females were born at the zoo's breeding center in November. Of the 430 litters on record with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, it's the largest ever recorded at a zoo. Cheetah litters typically consist of three to four cubs. The zoo says the cubs and their mother, Bingua, are doing well. The litter will remain with their mother in a private indoor den for several months. Pretty cute there. She's going to be very busy oh, yes. caring for eight of them. That's amazing. Wow. And they're all so cute. Grow up to be very fast runners. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. World News Tonight with David Muir is coming up next. We'll see you again at 11. Have a good weekend. My name is Stefan Campagna. We're Ben Gates and Dramus. And here is your Law Tip of the Week. If you've been injured or arrested, I know this feels like the end of the road, but really it's the beginning of a long, potentially stressful process. So give us a call, let us give you some peace of mind. Northland Outdoors is about so much more than the biggest fish or the hottest hunting spots. All across the Northland, there are amazing people with incredible stories to tell. We're gonna find those stories and share them with everyone. Join us each and every week as we explore the Northland and experience some of the most exciting outdoor adventures in the country right here in our own backyard. This is Northland Outdoors. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov slash concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. I am the resident district manager on the FAU campus for Chartwell. Whenever I see Haley, I do not see a person with a disability. I see a person with extraordinary abilities. Haley is always smiling. She's always on time. She gives fantastic customer service and is always focused on any job that she's given. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Many websites selling medication may look professional and legitimate, but the vast majority of sites selling prescription drugs are doing so illegally. Criminals use websites to sell counterfeit medications that may contain life-threatening toxins. Dot Pharmacy is a website verification program that helps you identify safe and trustworthy online pharmacies. Purchasing medicine online can be safe and easy. Just look for pharmacy to the right of the dot in website addresses. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make us splash! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USAswimmingfoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn 
Learn more at NationalGuard.com.